Hey everybody, Bear from Stars Gaming here, back with some more King of Dragon Pass. So last time around, our luck sort of took a change for the worse again. Um, we're still doing all right, but we we had a real nice upswing going for a second, and we kind of like teetered off a little bit. So let's see if we can't turn that around again. Um, do we have anybody exploring? We do not. We should probably get on that. Although. Um, We've had pretty poor luck sending people out lately. They tend to not come back. So, let's see. We'll send him with two weapon things, ten footmen. Huh. I didn't realize we accidentally sent him there. While exploring the further reaches of Artula, we camped near a small spring. As we kept watch that night, we were surprised to see that many of the stones around the spring glow in the darkness like stars. Our crafters are excited about using these rocks for amulets. Our neighbors are sure to want them, or are sure to want to trade for them. Cool. So they give us more goods, I think. Let's send him back out. This time we're gonna send him to. Uh, I don't know. Let's send him to the mountain again. While exploring south of here, we found a bull roarer similar to ones used in Orlando ceremonies. Of course, someone had to twirl it a few times. When he did, our horses ran away. We never did find one of them, but we brought back the bull roarer since it's a magical treasure. So we got a treasure out of that, cool. Um, I want him to stay out exploring though. I'm gonna send him a little bit further. Let's shoot for like the south here. Oh, we're being raided by the moldings, yikes. Uh, let's try the bull roarer. Frightens horses out. Oh, not gonna help us here. We'll save that for some horsemen. Um, let's try to drive them off. We'll go for the outmaneuver here. We have a lot more weapon things than they do, luckily, but the spearmen are about equal. They charge right into our trap. The battle has not gone well for Yorsar, our war leader. He was leading a group of warriors, but he took a javelin in the neck. Well, that would make your day take a turn for the worse. And now the warriors with him have drawn back in the face of the Nemoldings, who have the chance to finish him off. Marlesta is with a small group of auxiliaries nearby. What should she, what should she do? Assert control over the enemy warriors. Exhort our warriors to fight, to avenge him, rush forward and heal him. Take over for him. Uh, let's take over for him. Let's see... Our warriors were ashamed that they had let Yorsar down, and were determined not to disappoint Marlesta as well. Good. We took some losses there, but we dealed out several more. So, uh... Oh, we got four horses out of it. Nice. Oh, man. Uh, being raided by the Apples, they have 13 horsemen and 152 swordsmen. Huh. Well, they have a horseman. I'm going to use the bull roar. I don't know how many times we get to use it. Hopefully more than once. Um, Skirmishing is not going to work too well against horsemen, so let's just try to outmaneuver them again. Ooh, we took a lot of losses there. We twirled the boar roar and the enemy mounts became uncontrollable. We had to maneuver under a deadly rain of missiles. It was bitter fighting, their magic was stronger than ours, but we were not dismayed. We drove them off. And their survivors left without plundering Artula. Okay, so we did drive them off, but we took a ton of losses there, unfortunately. We need to train some more. Let's get back up to 20 at least. Hmm. While we were exploring to the south, we found an odd gem. I noticed that if you look into it, you could see faces. It turns out they were trapped spirits of fear. We could loose them at our foes in battle. We're getting a lot of, uh, a lot of treasures this time around. We've gotten like two this episode already. I'm going to do one magic in each and keep two in reserve again. And let's see, Perindal died of old age. The clan will miss him. Perindal. I don't remember who that was. Enderin recovered from the illness caused by the Hex Skirt. Oh, good. Last episode, um, or was it the previous episode? Somebody purchased a poisoned skirt that was, you know, tainted by chaos. 
and she nearly died. We caught the culprit and, uh, you know, got justice for her, but, uh, good to hear that she survived. So, Perendal died. Who was Perendal? I'm trying to remember. Oh no, he was the guy that we sent out on trades all the time with the, the red, reddish, you know, beard. That's a shame. Let's see. He was a worshipper of Isaris, I believe. So we need a new worshipper of Isaris. If we can find one. We have her. She's very, very young, though. But she might be our only option. We already have a follower of Lank or Mai. Bartar, or Dela, or Lance. Hmm. Vinga. Elmal. Do we have anybody else that worships Elmal? I don't know that we do. I like to keep the older people on the uh, the circle. It just to me, it makes more sense. You're not going to appoint like 20 year olds to uh, your clan leadership. He's renowned and custom. He's actually a really good character. Maybe we should just have two worshippers, Link or Mai, since he is the primary deity we're trying to worship. Let's just yeah, let's do it. Oh, well, we got horses. Let's use the uh, bull roarer again. Let's see. Let's try to skirmish them or something. Let's try something different. Alright, when we twirled the bull roarer, about half the enemy's horses bolted in terror. We exchanged missile fire with them, but never closed. So we had five fighters wounded, nobody dead, and they didn't take too many wounds either because they all their horses ran off. Right, so it's sea season. What do we want to do? Maybe a uh, quest? He wants the hero quest, huh? Making of the Storm Tribe hero quest. Maybe we should send him on it. Making the Storm Tribe. Let's do that. I can't perform it, though. Kalai would have to do it. Uh, Let's see, who mocks the champion? For all this blessing. Hmm. Twins, a drought caused by a kinsman or lance, slew a dragon and rescued Heller, the rain god. Hmm. Making of the storm tribe. I wish we could do this. Learn more about this myth. Okay, let's try to learn more about the myth then. Um, who would that be? It wouldn't be Ancestors, it would be Orlanth, right? Let's make a sacrifice to him. Do 20 cows. We have some cows to spare. Only a couple. And yeah, we want Mysteries. And we got the Lightning Ritual. That arc, the warrior of your clan whose visage was made monstrous by the alien god of the Tusk Riders, comes before the clan ring demanding redress of a grievance. I'm dishonored in my own clan, I'm continually insulted, whispered about, and treated as some kind of outlaw or foreigner. No one will look me in the eye. Our, on our last raid, no one would turn their backs to me. When I was cut off by the demolding weapon thanes, no one came to my aid. I do not wish to fight those of my own clan, although they dishonor me. Instead, I demand that you reproach them for their misbehavior so they will correct it. Let's see... If we can solve this matter while displeasing neither Thadar or the others, we will gain a reputation for wisdom. I agree with that. Uh, let's see... We can't make anyone do anything. That's also very true. If we reproach the others, he will consider his honor satisfied even if their response is bad. He doesn't want gifts, he wants a promise of better treatment. Figures that they would agree with each other. His account of the incident during the raid on the Nemoldings is exaggerated. He has been touched by a foreign god. His presence contaminates our shrines and temples. Hmm. Let's let's persuade the people to treat him with better respect. It's not his fault that that happened to him. He was you know out doing something for the good of the clan and was unfortunate enough to get captured and changed like this. So let's let's tell the people to be a little bit nicer to him. Let's see. They agreed that they had not behaved properly towards Thadar and promised to mend their ways. Thadar said he 
had much ale for them to drink if they would do him the honor of accepting his hospitality. The people drank long to the night and the matter was settled. Good, so it worked out for everybody. Including me, which is most important. Okay, so... What do we got going on here? Fire season. I think it's time for another raid. Who to raid, though? The moldings have been on our asses lately, so I think it's time we return the favor. Uh, we'll call the wolves in. And we're gonna send 20 weapon thanes. Let's do 180 footmen, 40 auxiliaries, and let's get this rolling here. We're going to try to kill as many as possible. And let's go with a skirmish, because we have them significantly outnumbered. I think if all of our dudes are raining javelins and spears and stuff on them, we'll be an advantage. Hmm, they had to charge through our devastating hail of missile fire. Dazed by the Moldings' battle magic, our warriors have fallen back slightly. Intigarn is nearest to the warriors, who appear most likely to flee at any moment. What should he do? Um, uh, let's see... Let's, uh... Let's rally them. Our warriors were shamed by Intigarn's cries. They turned and faced the Moldings and fought harder to make up for their failure of nerve. Good for them. We took zero losses and we gave them a whooping. I love that. Jeez, we really took it to them there. We might want to follow this one up with another raid. Our share of the plunder was 28 cows and 14 horses, 9 cows worth of loot, and obviously zero casualties. Baranthos, an Anzarni trader, strides into the clan hall. We hear you found some odd stones and would like to trade for them. We'd even be willing to take the whole lot off your hands so that you can concentrate on your other crafts instead of having to learn new ones. As Brantha speaks, or Oranda yawns elaborately and folds her arms. Hmm. Let's see. Offer to set up a trade agreement instead, whereby they get to they get first pick of the year's rock gatherings. What does she say? Oh, she doesn't say anything, unfortunately. Hmm. I like this one. That's that's probably the most, you know, or the least short-sighted approach. Let's go with that. Okay. We are, let's see. Oh, that's just what we chose. We said that it was best we could do, and the Anzarni eventually agreed to pay 10 cows worth of goods every year in return for the best pick of the stones. Cool. And, yeah, we have time for another raid. Let's do it. I'd really, really love to drive these guys out of here. I'm going to call in the white horse this time. We're going to go with the same numbers, which is, you know, more or less everybody. And we could burn their steads, we could try to kill as many people as possible. Let's, let's go for the slaughter. Um, or would it be smarter to plunder them? Let's plunder. We're gonna go for the maneuver here. Alright, we outmaneuvered the moldings and we gained sp superior position. There was a brief battle, we drove them from the battlefield and were able to plunder their Tula. We looted 36 cows and one horse, 27 cows worth of loot, and we didn't take any losses. They took several. Hmm. A member of the molding the molding ring named Rentha Pineholm and three resigned weapon thanes approach the clan ring with an offer of one of one time tribute. We are tired of war, says Renatha. We will give you twenty four cows as tribute, all we can afford if you will stop from raiding us. We'll also swear to the gods that we will not raid you. Hmm. What do they think? We have them beat, there's no reason to let them off easy. I agree with him one hundred percent. I mean they, they were the instigators in this. So, I would prefer to just drive them off the land. We can get more healthy cows from them as tribute than from raids. Eh, but we have plenty of healthy cows. No matter, in matters of power, it is best to be direct. I think that we can get more out of this than they're offering, perhaps as many as 36. He thinks that we've been lucky and we should go easy on them. Has vengeance really been satisfied? Well, you already know what I think. Yeah. Um, 
We will raid you whenever we feel like it. I'll just be right up front with them about it. Uh, let's see... Renatha had no choice but to depart from Artula, but she promised that the moldings would make us regret our lack of justice. A few days later, we heard they had hired a bandit king and his gang as weapon thanes, preferring bandits within their Tula to letting us raid at will. Interesting. Well, we're not going to raid them during harvest time, so we'll uh, wait a little bit, but next, next opportunity we get, we're going to hit them hard again. We're just going to keep pounding them until they leave, and then we might set our sights on the apple and the brown boar. One of the two, because they've both been, you know, getting after us lately. Mostly the brown board, but the apple hit us more recently. Uh, let's see. I'd love to do some kind of hero quest. Maybe we should do another sacrifice to Orlanth. I just, I don't have enough to uh, justify another temple here. But I'd love to get this one. Especially with all the combat we've been doing. Either one of these, really. But let's see about a hero quest, because this would really boost our, uh... We should build more temples, then people will have to come here to worship. I don't think we should, though. I don't know that we can afford it. Hmm. Prepared for a quest during Sacred Time, our chance of success is good. I agree with him. We could send her out. During the darkness, sorry for our travel trade, and talking by bringing... I've never had very good luck with this one. Humok the champion. Unfortunately, I think our our best uh, combat guy died. Or all this blessing. Hmm. Can make our cows more valuable or healthier. Gain a herd of cows or a magical cow. Increase the cow knowledge of our people or the quester. Let's do or all this blessing. We're gonna ask the uh, white horse to join us. They are known for their cattle stuff. Oh, we can't do this one yet. Come on. Which ones can we do? That one. We've already done that one, though. We can do this one. Do this one again. Um, let's go after that one, then. He's... Oh, he's renowned in combat. Perfect. The people have gathered their magic to help propel Hyotaro. Pure Tarl into the place of the gods, although the white horses refuse our request for assistance. What benefit does he seek? Hmm. Make the questers stronger, make our warriors stronger, make the dragon dudes fear us. That might be a good idea. Alright. Let's see, so the Arnaldo Priestess says one says the words that Arnalda once said to Orlanth, only one person is doing this. But I have but I have refrained from telling you, dear husband, because I know that your honor kinship that you honor kinship so much. Hyortal speaks the words of Orlanth and bids her to continue. At your command, O husband, I will instigate kin strife. Your nephew is the cause of our woe. He is drying my yields and starving the world. His name is Daga, the son of Molani, your niece. Let's see. I have fought with my brothers already, and most of my nephews as well. For you, sweet wife, I will go and speak to him, and then I will threaten him, and then I will curse him, and then I will drive him off or kill him. Or, I have fought with my brothers already, and most of my nephews as well. For you, sweet wife, I will go and speak to him. Uh, basically the same thing, or imprison him instead. Once there was no chaos in the world, Kinstrife was bad, but not as bad as it is now. Maybe the fight with Daga is what allowed chaos to come in the first place. I must find another way. I think it's that one. Because the whole point was like we were slaying a dragon or something, rather than, you know, committing kin strife. Hirotaro goes to fight Daga in the place of the gods. Daga has no substance to strike, nor force to scatter. Hmm. Let's see. I don't think he can actually kill us, because he has no form. Let's just take whatever punishment he dishes out. Stokely did Hero Tile take the 99 blows meant for our lance. Okay, so we're doing pretty well so far. Hero Tile learns that there is a secret weapon to use against Daga, the rain god, Heller. But Heller is trapped in the, bedi in the belly of Aroka the dragon. Hero Tile gathers the weapons, the sack with the four winds in it, an ancient flint sword called Clanth, 
a twisted vine which holds the upper wind and a leather rope which holds the lower wind. He eats of Ronaldo's splendor bread, uh, these, it's getting so, so ridiculous, and drinks crazy black wide brew. Then he goes off in search of Oroka, but on the way Orlanth is ambushed by other enemies. Um, uh, let's defeat them and take something from each one. The first foe is Gagarth, the Bad Wind. Gagarth buffeted Hirotaro with the full force of his greatest weapon, the awesome Wind from Above, tearing the flesh from Hirotaro's face and scalp. He withstood the punishment and returned it in the form of a punch with the power of the stars. Gagarth was stunned, and Hirotaro quickly took the possession of the Wind from Above. The second enemy is the Troll Avenger. With seven blows of his flint tooth clent, Hirotaro slew the Troll and took their weapon the soul-cutting dark wind. The third enemy is the mysterious dark woman. Does he fight her or try to seduce her? I don't see any dark woman there. But okay, let's just try to fight her. Uh, he brought some of the magical white brew back into his mouth and spit it at the dark woman who was blinded. He pushed her aside and continued on his journey. Okay, on his way to fight the dragon, Hirotaro encounters another hero quester, a Roxy warrior who claims to be from another place in time. You need me to protect you from the chaos that Kinslaying will bring you. I need you because I must serve Orlanth in order to continue my quest. I demand the right to come with you as Orlanth's brother. Um, storm bowls can come in handy sometimes, follow me. There are no storm bowls in the myth of Orlanth and Oroka. Go away. Today we discover the new myth that has always existed. Let's go, my friend. Sure. But he came along nonetheless. Okay. Alright, so when Hirotal arrives for the fight against Oroka, he's surprised to see many chaos creatures swarming towards him. I knew this had happened. Now there's chaos in the world, shouts the Stormbolt. Go fight Oroka and I'll fight them off. Um. Stormbolt likes to kill chaos and I don't want to get in his way, so. I'm gonna just do, what he's, do as he says. At last, Hirotaro finds the lair of Oroka. He uses the things he brought with them and the things he took from the enemies he bested along the way. He uses them to fight the dragon. First, Oroka opened its eyes to destroy the mind of Orlanth. The storm god released the four winds, and each of them cast its weapon into the eyes of the dragon, blinding it. Oroka lashed out with its tongues. Orlanth re released the upper wind, which dried out the snaking enemy. Oroka roared its fatal breath, but Orlanth captured it inside the sack of winds and threw it away. Then Orlanth strode onto its mouth and seized the upper jaw with his hands, placed his foot against the lower jaw, and with the shout of victory tore the dragon asunder. Yikes. Does that mean we were successful? Plus, wow, a bunch of magic. A great flood of blood, water, and mead swept over the land. Inside was Heller, the rain god, who was his friend afterwards. Heller was sent against Daga, and Orlanth went too, pounding the land and covering it with rain. Orlanth captured Daga and put him in, his, in a jar. Soon Arnalda was nourished, nourishing again, and drought was banished. Hero Tarl successfully completed the hero quest and was cheered by all. The people hoped that he, his success would keep the Dragonutes far away from our clan. Cool. So we were successful in yet another um, hero quest, and we gained a lot of magic for our trouble. Um, apparently our guy lost like the flesh on his face and scalp at least in that world. I don't know if it applied to this one as well. Either way, I'm gonna I'll tab out and check the time here, so I'll be right back. And as I suspected, we are out of time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and break off the episode here. Uh, it looks like we were finally able to turn our luck around though, which is great, because uh, we were starting to kind of teeter back off again, and we're, you know, headed in the right direction now, so that is very, very good for us. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please feel free to share my videos however you guys see fit, and I will see you guys back here for the next part of our King of Dragon Pass Let's Play.